Hello everyone, brothers and sisters in Christ. I just wanted to come to you all with a um, a dream that I had and it was a rapture dream. And if you guys can please bear with me, this is my very first video. This is my first time speaking into my camera for a video to share with the world. But um, this dream has been on my mind and on my heart a lot and I know that I need to share it. Um, I had this dream April, today is April 27th. I had this dream April 25th, a couple of days ago, 2018. And it started out, I was, I was outside um, I was outside in my car, um, I was kind of like at a store in a, in a small parking lot, a plaza parking lot. And I remember looking out my window of my car and I looked up, I was looking up in the sky and I saw this huge, I want to say a planet. It looked like a planet. It looked like it was the moon, but it was not the moon. It was it was dark time. It was evening. It was maybe like dusk. So the the sun was just just starting to like it was almost gone. But I remember it being like dusk time, and um, I was looking out my my window and I saw this. It was huge. It was like a planet. And it was like a dark bluish navy looking color. And um, and I said, oh, you know, I reached for my phone so I can take pictures of it. So I had took some pictures of it in my dream. And there were other people. I heard other people outside, too. They were looking up at it and, and noticed noticed it as well and I remember getting out my car and I left it and I started walking um I left my car and everything in it I just had my phone I, I took my phone and I I think I took my wallet in my dream and I and I left my car as if I knew I did not need it or I wasn't going to need it. So I remember walking. And. Walking down this path. And in my dream. I, I was thinking. Okay I, I need to. I I was trying to get home. I, I wanted to get home. Um, my husband and my kids were at home. And I was trying to get to them. And I remember walking. Thinking like, okay, I need to get to my, I need to get to them. And I wasn't taking like the main streets um, to get home. I was taking, I took this, this narrow road. Um, and there were a few other people with me walking down this, this road also. I didn't know who they were, but. They were walking with me and we were all walking together. And at the same time, we were, you know, looking at the sky and that planet that I saw, it, it, it like changed or all of a sudden we, I just remember seeing like this huge gold, yellowish, like moon, like kind of like a, like a, like a, a blood moon um and it was big and it was like glowing um and it was already it was getting darker outside so it was dark and all you saw was this huge glowing yellowish gold big look like a moon then all of a sudden it blew up in the sky it blow it was a loud explosion and it was just 
nothing I've ever heard before. It just blew up and it was fire in the sky. Um, and then the people that were with me, we were all like, whoa, what was that? What was that? Like, why did it, like, did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? And, um, I'm sorry, I'm looking at my book, my notebook, because I had wrote it down when I had woke up. And I don't want to miss or forget anything. But I remember looking at my phone after I saw that and I was trying to call my husband. And um, so I went to my, you know, my contacts on my recent calls and his name underneath his name, underneath my mother's name and my sister's name, people that were close to me. Um, there was like a, a no signal uh, symbol underneath their names as if I couldn't call them if I wanted to but everything else in my phone all my other contacts like stores I have like stores uh, restaurants and things like that in my phone contacts and if I wanted to call them I was able to there was you know nothing underneath the contact name but underneath the people that are close to in my life couldn't reach out to them so I just remember I just I, we I kept walking you know trying to get home I just I, that was my main focus I was just trying to get home and all of a sudden I saw these like fireworks in the sky and these fireworks um, they did not look like the, the fireworks that we see you know it just didn't look man like man-made these fireworks that were in the sky and this was right after the explosion of that moon. Then all of a sudden, you know, everyone's standing still. Like we were still, we just was just looking. And then all of a sudden I saw like this ray of light. And I, it's very hard to explain, but it was like a ray of light. Like a rainbow light. Like it was made up of, of many colors coming from the sky. And it was shooting out like a big round, like a big round beam ray of light. And it hit everyone. And it, it seemed as if this light that came down, this circle of light came down and struck the whole world, the whole earth. And then we, I, I remember immediately falling down, face down. And I remember hearing someone behind me saying, yes, Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. And I was thinking too, like, yes, you know, this is it. Like, this is it. Like he's coming and he's coming to get his people. He's coming to get us. And, um, I was just on the ground for a minute. I was just pray, praising the Lord and praising God. And I got up. I remember getting up and I was, and I was still walking, just trying to hurry up and get home. I was trying to hurry up and get home, you know, to, to my husband and my kids. And I was trying to get to them. And all of a sudden I was in like this clearing. It was like, kind of like a parking lot. But there were no cars. And it by this time it kinda like my dream kinda shot forward. I was it was getting lighter outside. And it was getting um yeah, it was getting lighter to like it was brighter outside. And I looked I looked out into the distance. <sighs> And I saw these white, like white beams of light going up, going up into the sky. And I knew immediately, I knew that those were souls that were going up. And they were all across the sky. They were just going up. I saw, 
I knew, I knew that, okay, this is, like, this is it. This is the time where he's, we are going up. And as if I needed, it was as if, if I didn't know, and I needed further confirmation that these were souls, there was someone in front of me maybe 15, 20 feet in front of me, they were going, they started to go up. Um, just like they were solid, like, like how, you know, how we are just like solid. They were solid at first. And then as they, as they got up higher and higher, their body, it was just like an outline of, the shape of a of a man, like the shape of a person, like a trans. It was kind of like transparent, but I was also able to see like the outline of a person, and it was as if God wanted me to see that just so that I can get further confirmation. If I did not know already that, hey, that th these were souls that were going up. And I remember, I remember I was just like, you know, I was like, yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And I was praising him and I was just like, yes. And I remember saying, I remember saying like, please, I, I said, don't forget about me. <laughs> please don't forget about me. And all of a sudden I felt like this, um, uh, I felt this wind, like come all like, it was like windy you know that type of wind when you go outside or when you're outside and that wind, it feels like it can just pick you up and take you away or blow you away. Um, that's the type of wind I felt all around me. And I, and I remember I was trying to push through it and I was trying to go forward. I kept trying to go forward and this wind was like trying to like pull me back or pull me in a different direction. I was just like, you know, pushing against it, trying to go forward. Cause I was like, okay, I felt like I was almost home. I'm just trying to get home. I don't know why I was thinking that when I knew, I just was thinking about my babies, I guess. Um, all of a sudden, I mean, I had these books in my hand out of nowhere. I had these like books, like textbooks, like school books in my hand. And while I was trying to push against this wind, uh, so I thought it was wind. I don't think it was wind, but I was trying to push against it. I saw this man appear. He came out of nowhere. And well, let me back up. You know what? It was so it was strange because it's kind of funny. I also saw like people that were right in front of me, a couple people that were right in front of me started to lift up and these were like I don't know I don't know why but they looked like um like basketball like NBA players they looked like NBA players um that were going up and I remember they were they had like their uniforms on still like there it was like a yellow yellow uniform but um I saw a couple, I saw them going up also, but, at, but all of a sudden this man came, um, towards me and he, um, I think it may have been an angel, but he didn't have any wings or anything like that. He didn't have any wings. He had on um, regular clothes and he looked like similar to Morgan Freeman, the actor Morgan Freeman, but it, it wasn't him, but he looked similar to him. If I had to give him a, a description, um, but he walked up, he was walking towards me and he, um, he said to me, he said, Oh, he said, looks like you, uh, Looks like you had a. You looks like you had a lot of work to do. And I looked down at my books in my hand. I said, "Yeah, you know, I did have a lot of work to do. I did." 
And he told me, he said, you know, it's okay. You're going to be fine. It's okay. And that to me, now when I, you know, when I think back on this dream, it, that to me meant, it was like a metaphor, like for my life, I always feel like I have so much to do. Or, you know, how we all can feel like I have so much to do. I want to do this. I want to get this done. I want to go back to school or I want to, you know, you know, I want to raise my, my kids. I want to, there's so much I want to do or so much I have to do. And it was as if he was saying, you know, yeah, you know, you had things to do. You had work to do, but it's okay now. You're just fine now to like let go and while he was talking to me naturally when you know someone comes and talks to you or tries to come and talk to you you know I stopped walking and I stopped struggling and I stopped pushing against this wind and right after he said you know it's okay you're fine I felt myself start to lift up I felt myself starting to <sighs> I looked down and I just my feet were leaving the ground and I was going up <laughs> and I just started hearing like this incredible like choir of I was hearing like the song and the only, the only words that I was hearing was Jesus, Jesus. And it was like in a song and, um, I woke up, I woke up and I woke up and it was 4 41 AM and right away I called my husband and told him because he's a truck driver so he's out on the road a lot so I um picked up the phone to call him and tell him um but yeah that was my rapture dream never had one before and before this dream I would I was asking God to show me you know how you try and plan things and and I've been watching videos here on YouTube or videos on YouTube of people and their testimonies and encounters and their dreams and rapture dreams and I mean I feel it in me I feel it in my spirit I feel that Jesus is coming soon and I remember you know asking him like Jesus you know, give me, if you can please bless me with a dream, uh, a rapture dream, you know, is this something that's going to be happening soon? Um, you know, ask and you shall receive. And I just want to leave this video and I just want to say, that you guys guys that if you don't know Jesus please I I I beg you get to know him accept him as your Lord and Savior He is real Heaven is real and hell is real and He is coming he is coming back really soon. I mean, we can we all know something is happening. There just by with what's going on all around us in this world today. Everything is that's happening is parallel with what was told and what was put in into the Bible. 
So, I urge you to please just repent of your sins. Ask for forgiveness. Stay in the word. Start reading your Bibles. Develop a relationship with him. He loves you. He loves us all. And he is coming back. And he is just... God is just... God has shown us so much mercy. And he's just... He doesn't want... Jesus doesn't want anyone to perish. And I hope this video reaches someone if not many but if I can just get one person to if, the, if this video can just bless just one person that would be that would be amazing <laughs> and just just pray pray I pray for this world I pray for everyone um I mean we don't have that much we don't have time we are out of time guys we are out of time and he is on his way um please just stay encouraged and stay in faith God bless you all.